YouTube, it's Zach. Welcome to Driver 81. This is one of the busiest streets in my location. Right now, it's completely empty because it's a bank holiday. It's 7 o'clock in the morning, and I love getting up early and making car videos. Strange as it may seem. This is a Porsche Macan 2018 Porsche Macan Turbo. That's 400 brake horsepower, 295 foot pounds of torque. Uh, it's a V6 twin turbo, 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds. This thing is a beast. Let's take a look at it. This video is focusing on, uh, I think it's seven or eight cool features of this car. If you've already got one of these cars and if you've driven one of these cars for a while, please just watch this video as a kind of a layman, as somebody who's never seen this video before, because to, the, to you this video might just seem normal and just second nature, but there'll be a lot of people who haven't seen the Macan um, and want to maybe know a little bit about the features of the car. So I'm going to run through a few of the features of the car before I get into it. Uh, please, I want you to like and subscribe to the channel. So like the video now. And now subscribe to the channel. Okay, that's out of the way. Also a big thanks to Porsche Center Teesside for loaning me the car for a few days so I can make a few of these videos. Um, big thanks to them. Please like them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, go and see them, say hello, have a cup of tea, whatever. Let's get in and have a look at the features. Well, actually, no. First of all, we're not gonna get in the car. First of all, the first feature that I love about this car is a little thing called launch control. Have you ever heard of launch control? If not, you must have been living under a rock. Let's take a look at what launch control can do. It's an exhilarating piece of kit, and that, that to me is the best thing about this car, launch control. Uh, but there are a few other cool features. Let's get in uh, on the inside and take a look at one of the other cool features, or the next cool feature, or the second cool feature. Now the thing about this car is that it's such a good car as an all-rounder. It's a good car to take the family out, to go to work, you know, family trips out. If you want to go away for the weekend, you can lump the, all the stuff in the back of the car. Um, or if you want to drive a bit sporty, if you want to go on the, the B roads, you can do that as well because um, first of all, we're going to look at the, uh, the where is it, this one here. Uh, what I'll do actually, I'll turn the engine on because it might make a little more sense. So when we start the car, shut the door, the default is comfort mode, okay? So the default is comfort mode. Now this button here is for the suspension, so I'm gonna press it once, and we'll see a message come up saying chassis sport selected. So that makes the rigidity of the car just, a, it makes it a little bit more solid and a little bit less roll when you're going around corners. And then what you can do is you can press it again, and it gives you chassis sport plus selected. So it makes it even firmer. So that it's got two different suspension settings to firm up the car and actually makes a massive, massive difference to the ride of the car. I've tried it in all three settings on the same road and my God, it is there's such a massive difference uh, in the, the roll of the car. Obviously, you've got quite a bit of roll because it's in comfort when you first start it and when you first drive it, but if you wanna, if you wanna actually cane it around these corners, you can do and press that uh, suspension button for the Sport Plus. And staying in the car, and we're gonna be looking at these buttons again. This is the third cool feature of this car. It's what they call a Sport Plus. So it's this one here. There is a Sport button as well. The Sport Plus is where it's at though. This is where it's happening. If I press that button, will it say anything? It just gives me a little Sport Plus. So basically, <clears throat> what that does is, if I'm driving along in say, I don't know, sixth or seventh gear, 
and I feel like I want to put my foot down a little bit. Well, I'll press sport. I'll press sport, uh, and if I'm in fifth gear, I might sort of bring it down into fifth. Uh, sorry, if I'm in seventh gear, I might bring it down into say fifth gear. If I press sport plus, it's probably going to bring me down into third gear. So the revs are going to change. The setup of the car completely changes. Everything is a lot more aggressive. The sport exhaust comes on. The car feels more gruntier. It's more solid. It's more rigid. And it actually feels a little bit like, I'm not going to say it feels like a 911, but it feels very much like a 911, which is very difficult to believe in a big 4x4 like this. Although it's not as big as the, uh, the Cayenne it's still a big lump it's still a two-ton lump and to be able to get that kind of performance handling out of this car just by selecting a few buttons is absolutely mind-blowing so well done Porsche that's the third cool feature about this car <laughs> cool feature about this car to me is the panoramic roof I'm gonna press this button here and we'll see the roof open panoramic so it goes right back to the back but then we press this button here it's gonna lift that up and it takes it back. It only takes it back so far. It doesn't go back all the way. The one downside to that is, to me, that looks a little bit daft. I understand it's there for a reason and it's there to deflect the wind, to stop any wind noise. But it just looks a little bit stupid to me. Anyway, it's a great feature though. And again, I apologize if you've got a Macan and you, this is second nature to you. But I think it's a cool feature and all cars should be equipped with this. Okay, so the next cool feature about this car is relating to the sat-nav. Um, I'm still now, I'm not driving now, so obviously I can't show you, but I'll put an overlay on, you should be seeing it right now. Uh, when you're driving along, it automatically does the zooms in and out. So on previous generations of Porsche sat-navs, you have to turn the knob to zoom in to see the junctions or zoom out if you want to see a, a broader view. This knows exactly where you are and at exactly one time. And it's so intelligent and it knows when you would need to zoom in. So it'll when you come up to a junction, it'll automatically zoom in so that you can see exactly where you're going on that junction. Um, it'll also give you another little display to say, uh, say for example, turn on the third exit at this roundabout or turn left here at this junction. Uh, so it's really, really impressive and it reduces the need for you to actually turn any knobs and actually get a closer view or a far away view of the sat nav. So that's the next cool feature of the car. Okay, so number six cool feature of the car, we're going to come on the back. Probably haven't showed you the back yet. That's the back of the Cayenne. Uh, Cayenne Macan. But most importantly, I want to show you the um, boot release button. So you come in here, you normally, you're like, oh, where is it? Is it a secret button somewhere? Yes, it is. Just spend two seconds looking at that, see if you can find it. You're struggling, aren't you? I'll show you, I'll put you out of your misery. Right there. Ta-da! And then obviously to close it, well all cars these days have the opening boots, but I just think that's a cool feature having the button there. You can do it with the key as well, but it just makes the whole boot lid look a little bit more flush. And that is the sixth cool feature about this car. <laughs> So the seventh and the final cool feature about this car, I'm going to get in, show you. Um, it's 
it's not fantastic, but it's just a, <laughs> it's a little hidden thing. And I found it by accident, actually. Um, you've got heated seats here, which are great. Three different levels of heated seats. But this is an Alcantara steering wheel, which is absolutely beautiful. But I bet you didn't know that it's heated. There's no options anywhere to get heating on. And I found this by mistake, and I'm gonna try and show you. There's a hidden button right in between here. So you go there. It's not working because the, the door's open, I think. Right, there we go. So press the button, heat and steering wheel on, press it again, heated steering wheel off. So it's just, just there. Heated steering wheel on. I know it's not it's not such a massive thing, but I found it impressive. And that's it. Those are the seven cool features that I think are pretty cool on this car. Not gonna set the world alight, but hopefully it's giving you a little insight of some of the features of this car. Obviously, we're not talking about performance here or the mechanics of the car. Or the engineering of the car, the design of the car, it's just cool quirks while you're sitting having your morning coffee. Uh, favourite feature for me though is absolutely the launch control as I say. If you get a chance to drive one of these cars or any new Porsche Turbo, any new Porsche really, uh, that's got the, um, what do they call it? The um, launch control, you've got to try it, you've just got to try it, it makes the whole experience completely different and it'll 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 make you feel like you're on a roller coaster i swear to god anyway so that's it uh, please like the video if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as i say i'm giving away a porsche boxer 986 when i've hit 100,000 subscribers so uh, one of those subscribers will win the car completely random um, thanks to porsche center teesside please give them a like a follow on their facebook instagram twitter pages uh, they've sorted me out with this car for a few days so really appreciate that uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time